Hey guys, I'm Ryu with Dan. And I'm Otaku Kent, and welcome to Random Talks, our podcast-like series. How are you today, Dan? I am a little tired from the heat. I am too, but that's because I just woke up from a nap because I was up early. Yep. I needed a nap. Yeah. When you're an adult, life is not the same as when you think as a kid. Life is not a hurricane. It's more like a typhoon of ice shards. Yeah, pretty cool. Especially the 2020. <laughs> no, that's a lot, lot worse than what regular life should be. All right, well, enough about that. Let's go ahead and get on into the news because I got food on the way. I got Chinese. Yay! All right, first up on the list is Ample Hills. A moment of silence for Ample Hills. For those who do not know, Ample Hills is a ice cream place at uh, Disney Springs. Oh. Uh, it is very famous for being one of the best locations to get ice cream at Disney World. Oh, no, no, it wasn't Disney Springs. It was uh, the Boardwalk. Oh. And it had filed for bankruptcy, and they had closed their locations. That's sad. Yeah. It, I never officially got to try it myself, but I've had friends who have tried it, and they said it was all amazing. And now we don't get to try it. Yeah. We can still go to Beaches and Cream and get the kitchen sink. True. Do you, I don't think we'd need someone else with us. You and I wouldn't be able to tackle that together. Unless we ate a lot of food the first the day before. I don't think you realize how much ice cream is in that thing. It's well, a kitchen sink. I know how much ice cream is in that kitchen sink. It, there's also brownies and cake and cookies and different sauces and yeah it's a lot hold on a spoon well reliable looks like our job's not done <laughs> we'll try it one day maybe we can even film it probably that'd be awesome all right next up on the list and last on the list short list today yeah e3 it's is dead, dead. moment of silence for what used to be really great Okay, then. So, with 2020 pretty much canceling E3, uh, they decide, I mean, a lot of companies decide to announce their stuff through digital means, like uh, Nintendo has been doing for years. Yeah. And with that, it pretty much kills what E3 is. Yeah. Too bad it wasn't like a video game convention. It, it kind of started it off, I mean, it didn't really start off like that. It was more for... Uh, people of corporate uh, companies come in and, you know, let's get this video game, let's get this video game, that sort of thing. It eventually became more of a gaming convention. And, uh, yeah, with digital means of re relaying information, it kind of just killed it. Yeah, the only problem is that E3 really had, like, a lot of demo games. Yeah, yeah, that was the and thing. And the things that, really... that were from them. I mean, Sony had kind of went on a downhill spiral for that, though. Yeah, they kind of just... They're like, we don't need E3 no more. E3 don't need you no more. <laughs> Nintendo really did go... Nintendo really goes all out with their stuff. Yeah, they did. Uh, I remember when they announced Breath of the Wild, they had, like, floating Master Swords and Hylian shields. Even, like, Mario stuff, they had, like, mushrooms. I think like, that might have been the first E3 we covered, but anyways. Hmm. But I remember, like, for Mario's, like, anything Mario-related, they had, like, an area that looked like the Mushroom Kingdom. So it was really nice to see. And Microsoft, you know, I'm not going to say they're the best, but they were good, too. Yeah, they, they know how to put on a good show. Yeah. Presentation, and, make, and making sure that everything works well. Like, I know that the Kinect didn't do that well. Yeah. But, you know, they it was really interesting. Having, yeah, they were at least having some fun with it. I, I The only one that I ever played was the Star Wars Kinect game. Oh, how was that? It was interesting. I'm not going to say anything. I mean, the controls were clunky. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But it was interesting. I think it was around the time uh, Wii came out. Was yeah. Like, that was a uh, road motion <laughs> controls were a big thing. Yeah. And then like Xbox was like, we can do better. A PlayStation the PlayStation had the move, which had the stick with the glowing ball. Basically the Wii whip off. Wii whip off? Yeah. Wii whip off. <laughs> Sweetenly. <laughs> it's the rip off of the Wii remote. Yeah, pretty much. But, it, I mean, it was cool looking with yeah. the ball. I mean, at least when Xbox did it, they actually had you become the controller. And people said, you know, it works for some games and not for others. Yeah. Like Sonic Riders, it does not work. Mm -hmm. I think Angry Joe covered it. Some called me Johnny said that him and his brother were bumping into each other. <laughs> ah! 
No, I mean like actually bump it into each other. Oh, I, thought, I oh. thought you meant in the control of the game. That would be funny. Just. Uh, no, they did a little skit about bumping into each other. I'm like, no, they had to do that to have that in there. They really had to actually hit each other in real life trying to do the whole skit. The boring thing. Well, plus, I mean, you gotta also consider probably the lack of space they probably had, too. That is true. I don't know where they were living at the time. They probably got better space now. A lot of people who start off small usually get bigger places to do some better filming. Us one day. One day more. Copyrighted. Darn it! <laughs> but, um, that's it for the list. Yeah, um... Uh, they did. Uh, they're starting to sell extra large Disney masks now. My large ones came in, and they fit Jasmine better than they fit me. Uh, they fit me, but not as well as they could. Uh, they were a bit tight. I honestly think they need to have a bit more elasticity to the bands. Well, I got some masks. My mom bought some masks from a friend of ours who made them, mm -hmm. and the elastic did not even come up to my ears. So my mom had to get some uh, rubber band kind uh, of things. Yeah, some hair scrunchy parts, and just. And I'm going to tell you this right now. I don't like wearing a mask myself. But hang on. I'm not a camera. I'm not going to go as, uh, against my right. If a place requires me to wear a mask, I'm wearing a mask. Otherwise, I'm staying six feet away from people. Yeah. I, I did I, that before the pandemic, though. I've been wearing it because I have to wear one at work. Yeah. I'm used to it at this point. Well, my job now requires us to either wear a mask or a face shield. Which one do you do? I got the, I got the face shield. <laughs> I think some makes me sweat. But at least... But for me... I don't like things touching my face, honestly. So something like this, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare! I will do it. But you know, I'm always doing. I'm always gonna try to be safe out there. Yeah. Like you know, don't cause problems out there because you think it, you know, hinders you. Yeah. If you do have a health problem, you know, talk to your doctor about alternatives. Yeah. Get a face shield. Don't need a, like a little mask. Get a face shield. That helps out a lot more too. Randoblast is not associated with any doctors, physicians, or surgeons. Please get with your local doctor to find out what's right for you. Yeah. <laughs> That's me being funny and serious at the same time. Yeah. I wish I was able to fast talk that. <laughs> Just telling the wall, the wall scroll of text. The wall words. Yeah. But yeah, that's going to do it for today. Unless you got something else. Uh oh, Fluffy had the new pop coming out. Oh yeah, F uh, f well yeah, it's already out. Yeah, and this time he has two little puppy dogs with him. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna be grabbing that. Well, I wonder if one is Bruno. <laughs> no, Bruno passed away. Oh, he did. Yeah, Bruno passed away. Goodbye, daughter. Don't yes. don't don't hurt my heart like that. I don't need that. <laughs> oh, uh, but so we. So if you have been watching the Funko Pop videos, you have noticed that the pin board's not there. Those videos were filmed. Uh, like right at the beginning of the pandemic <laughs> so months ago uh we, we because the the disney pin video took so long honestly i think we should have like maybe done a handful and then called it a day if anyone else wanted to see it they'd let us know but i digress we could probably do it without my dice but i never going down that path right now yeah um yeah too much dice hey i don't even have 30 sets yet I'm barely a dice goblin. <laughs> mm, yeah, sure. I'll wait till you have a problem. <laughs> but when that time comes, <laughs> me, Final Stage Promotions, and Jasmine will be here for you, waiting with a straight jacket. <laughs> uh, but that aside, uh, well, I forgot where I was going with this because of you. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, the pinboard. So, yeah, there was probably going to be a handful of other videos coming out where. That not being there and the old shelf being there, uh, give it time, it'll catch up. Uh, th there's a reason why we only release those videos every two weeks now, so that way we don't have to rush. One day maybe we can get it out where we can get more than uh, the random talks done in a week. Uh, that'll probably be after we move in together. Yeah, when we actually have more time. Yeah. Muppet Month is still happening. Uh, we have another review that we need to get around to doing. It's just, it's been tough. It has been. Between him working, me working, and everything else in between, it's just been tough at the moment. But we will make these videos. We have the scripts ready. We're good to go. Yep. Well, for the most part. Yeah. But until then, guys. I'm a talk again. I'm Review It Dan. I hope you all had a blast. Don't forget to stay random. We love you guys. Don't forget to love each other. And stay safe. And stay safe. Peace out. <laughs>